An old Chinese proverb says, if you want to know what water is, don't ask a fish. Let's think about this statement for a moment. The world of the fish is entirely water. It is the entirety of the world in which the fish is immersed, and it knows nothing else. The fish was born into water and it continues to live in the water. The same is true of us. We are born into this world and as we grow older, we continue in this world. We go about our days surrounded by all that is in this world. It would be easy, in fact, for all of us to fall in love with it because it's all we know. And that is something the Bible warns us about. 1 John 2.15 says, Do not love the world, nor the things in the world. But if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Not only is it easy for us to fall in love with the world, we can be easily influenced by all those around us who are also in love with the world. And what happens is that we don't quite understand the world in which we live. We become like fish, pontificating about the water that surrounds us. There are many today who look at the world they live in through a lens that is constructed by their own thoughts and feelings, by their own observations about this world, or even by other men's observations about this world. This is something we call a worldview. Worldview. Everyone has it. Simply put, a worldview is how someone views the world around them. It's how they interpret everything that happens in this world. But the reality is that every person has a worldview. Some worldviews may be inconsistent, having come together through picking and choosing whatever someone likes. It could be a smattering of natural, supernatural, pre-modern, or even some postmodern views. And that last one, postmodernism, it's especially confusing because it holds that there can be no definitive terms, boundaries, or objective truth. And this is an irony in itself. Because how do you define a way of thinking that says there are no definitions? No matter what worldview people hold to, it affects everything they do in life. Romans 12.1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. This verse right here is about living. And the very next verse is about thinking. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. We'll get into exactly what these two verses are saying in a later video, but for now, we can just say that there is a clear link between how one thinks and how one lives. Let me give you an example. A very common worldview people claim to have is one called empiricism. They say that something cannot truly be known without first examining the related empirical evidence. That is what we can see, smell, hear, touch, or taste. So you would think that the empiricists would not do or believe anything unless they've seen the empirical evidence first. The empiricists would say, give me 100% evidence that Christianity is true. But when is there ever anything else in this life that they would need 100% evidence for? Where is the 100% proof that university students will get a diploma and a degree on their day of graduation, or that the medicine we get from the pharmacy works exactly as it's supposed to? Understanding worldview is one of the first things we can do when it comes to understanding people. But just because someone says they have a certain worldview, it doesn't necessarily mean they actually do. Even though the empiricists and skeptic claim to live by 100% evidence, it's impossible to live this way. If everyone was completely intellectually honest with themselves and with others, they would realize that they live largely by faith. What does that mean? We'll cover that in a future episode. But for now, you can check out some of our previous videos where we talk about it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or the new style of filming that we have. And we'll see you next time.